I'm finding it very difficult to keep everything together recently, to just accept that we live in a country with no democracy, no system of justice, and nothing coming in the future anytime soon. <laughs> just like, you know, and now Julian Assange being arrested. Theresa May has failed to protect this country. She's just handed it over to the EU completely. That's treason. And there's lords writing to, like, Donald Tusk and writing to different people. You know, our Prime Minister has committed treason. We were supposed to protect this country after, what, 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, whatever. However many years of freedom we were supposed to have since our forefathers fought Europe last time. You know, fought the Nazis. And now this is exactly the same thing again. But this time they think that we're the Nazis. The media, the establishment, the um, useful idiots, they all think we're the Nazis, the ones that are resisting the EU, that are resisting the actual advances of subs subsuming sovereignty. It's no fun anymore. There's no system of justice. There's no fairness. There's no anything. What the hell is this? What am I doing going up, getting up every day, looking at the world, seeing all the news events and everything, going out to a job and paying taxes and carrying on in society, watching everything fall and watching all our freedoms dwindle and disappear. What are we doing? We're wasting time, aren't we? And now we've lost Julian Assange. He was protected as long as he was there, but Ecuador changed his mind. Now he could be extradited to the US. And if Trump doesn't do anything about Julian Assange, then you might as well impeach him, Democrats. I don't care about Trump anymore. He's not done anything about the media. He's allowed the media to lie for two and a half years, saying Russia, Russia, Russia. Now that they're proven that it wasn't, he hasn't even done anything about it. He hasn't reined it in. He hasn't said, no, you can't do it anymore. I mean, there's, so, there's supposedly indictments coming soon on the deep state, right? You really believe that Obama is going to be indicted, do you? Do you really believe that Obama is going to be prosecuted, even if he was indicted? Do you really believe anything's going to happen to the people that are in charge? It's not, because there's no system of justice. And you don't suddenly get one when the, the New World Order wakes up and realises that people know there's no system of justice, mainly because of the Jesse Smollett thing, and then starts to actually fabricate a system of justice and maintain the illusion and say, oh, well, we'll just give this patsy, we'll just throw him in jail. That's a system of justice, yeah. The real people that are in charge, the ones who are responsible for this treason, they, they will get away with it scot-free. They won't be punished. They're unaccountable. They're the globalist puppets. They're promised things in the future. They're promised a life and riches beyond their wildest dreams. That's what Theresa May's had. That's what Tony Blair's had and now he's got it. That's what Brown's getting. They're all getting it because they all committed treason one after another in succession because Blair had eradicated the treason laws. Now with the final treason, the final sellout of the UK has already happened. We don't exist anymore as a country, I told you. So everything else is kind of childish and immaterial, isn't it? It's not really relevant talking about anything that they're talking about. Oh, the Tories have lost support. 9% support in this region. Oh, this region. They committed treason! They should be hanged! They should be legally hanged. Crime shouldn't be legal. It should be illegal. But they've legalised crime as long as they do it. Why can't we have a system of justice again? Because if we don't even have the illusion of a system of justice, we won't stay calm. We're not going to be able to stay calm. We're going to lose our minds and lose our shit because this world is an unjust one and there's no democracy and there's no point fighting for any in the future if there's nothing to fight for. What are we doing? We're just losing our freedoms right now. We're losing the ability to say things because they're hate speech because it might criticise Sharia. Oh, don't offend the people who burn gay people or stone them to death. God, that would be awful, wouldn't it? You can't offend Sharia advocates. But of course, stabbings, knifings, child mutilations, bombings... All part and parcel!